Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the introduction to threads in operating system. So a thread is a lightweight process and is also a segment of any process. And process means a task under the execution. So one process may have multiple threads and uh, running multiple threads at a time is called multi-threading concept, right? And there we have also seen the example for uh, process and a thread. So for example, so opening a browser is a process and opening a multiple tabs in a single browser is called threads. Right? Now we'll see the differences between a process and a thread. Right? See. Process and thread. So the first one, the first one, the process definition is a task, task under execution by CPU is called a process. So that means, so all the processes will be executed by the processor itself. So here the processor means the CPU. And here the first one, a thread is, it's a light weight, light weight process. That means it is also called as a part of a process. Okay, part of a process. So process itself is in alone. And here group of threads makes a process. Or we can simply say that process will be divided into a different threads. Next, so creation of process takes more time. This is only a comparison, right? So when compared to the thread, the creation of a process will consume more amount of time and when compared to process creation of a thread is simple creation of a thread is simple and it will take a less amount of time okay it will take a less amount of time and the fourth one similar to the creation termination is also somewhat complex in the process when compared to the thread. So once the process is completed, so termination, termination of process also takes more time, also takes more time when compared to the thread, right? When compared to the thread. Now, compared to process, Termination of thread is simple. Termination of thread is simple and also it, it takes less amount of time. Right? Within a short time, so a thread can be terminated because it's a lightweight process. So in order to terminate the process, first the threads should be terminated, then only the process will be terminated. So that's why it takes more amount of time and termination of a thread is very simple. Communication. Communication between threads. Sorry, this is a process. Between processes also takes more time. The communication that means inter process communication if one process wants to communicate with the other so that inter process communication took i mean it will take some some more time right but here communication between threads communication 
between threads right communication between threads takes less time so the reason me reason means so process doesn't share the same memory so one process will be in one memory another process will be in another memory so in order to retrieve the data from one memory to another memory the time taken right but whereas thread the same memory will be shared among different threads so all the threads will be residing in the same memory so automatically the communication between the threads will be very simple and very short time because all all the threads will be available in the same memory itself right so the next one doesn't share memory so among different processes it doesn't share the memory and here memory is shared memory is shared so if memory is shared automatically the data which is available in the memory will also be shared right so doesn't share data among the processors and data is shared among different threads right next context switching coming to the context switching context switching means switching from one process to another process so just now we have discussed the a process will be get executed by the cpu and during that execution if any other process arrives with a high priority so automatically the cpu should handle that high priority process first so in 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 such case so the switching will be done okay one process will be moved to one state and the another process will be moved to another state right so switching between process to process is called a context switching and here the context switching also somewhat complex that means it also takes some time okay so context switching context switching will take more time and here context switching is simple so this is also the reason main reason for this context switching uh, becoming simple is the same memory is shared among a uh, different threads right so context switching then errors on process doesn't effect doesn't effect on other but whereas here errors on threads effects on other so here so if one process gets an error that means if if it is in a blocking state right if it is blocked for some other reason so it doesn't affect on other process so immediately another process will comes into the cpu and it will start executing that particular process but whereas in the threads if one thread is in a blocking state automatically all the remaining threads will also goes to that particular blocking state because all the threads belongs to the same process so if one process uh, gets the error that effect will be on the other processes that means the impact the impact will be on other processes right i mean other threads and here that doesn't happens so processors alone right here we have seen process itself is an alone right so if one process is affected i mean uh, if one process is getting an any error so that will not affect on other processes right so these are the major differences between the process and 
thread right so one more time i'm telling the example for you so process means so we can consider a browser opening a browser in the system as a process and opening the multiple tabs in the same browser will comes to the thread right so every process can have multiple threads and concurrently executing the multiple threads is called multi threading concept right so hope you understood this one and let's stop here and uh, hope you enjoyed the session if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and if you are having any doubts uh, 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 post your doubts in the comment section and definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much